Hi crafters, this is Amy. Recently I picked up some uh, stamp sets, some clear stamp sets um, from Peachy Cheap, as well as there were some YouTubers that were selling off some items. So I got these uh, Tim Holtz sets. Uh, this is the Journey and Craft set. The Journey has these cars and tickets, and then the Craft set has um, the dress form. And then I realized when I got them that I don't have um, stamping blocks that are big enough. And like on these sets here, these are glit sets, um, like this large frame here or some of these um, bigger pieces. So I uh, started looking around my craft room and I picked up my plate from my cuddle bug. And I realized that these items would... Uh, stick on here just like the plate and uh, with a little bit of practice I mean you do have to be a little careful oh, actually it sticks better on this side um, and then I realized that you could actually set up your whole front of your card um, with what you wanted um, and then I just have these uh, scrap pieces of cardstock and I do try to stamp this is a um, mouse pad an old mouse pad um, stamp on there I am using um, VersaFine and I am really liking this for these stamping um, <clears throat> I don't like I don't like I don't usually like the very distressed look um, so even with these distressed stamps I like a crisp stamp so then I would line that up, and it's kind of like the, I don't know what the brand name, in, but brand name is, of the one that you push and it's on the little spring feet. Um, so this is where you need to be a little careful lifting it off. So there, got a nice image. And uh, another one. Uh, like this big long ruler I don't think I even have a piece of paper around big enough yeah. anyway, I was just playing on here so anyway when you have these larger stamps um, and now I don't have to go out and oh now that I moved it like I said you need a little practice and you need to be steady. Let me try that once more. You know, the ones that have those little feet on there, you know, that steadies you over your paper. So that's where you have to be careful. And of course, I have too much stuff on my table that's getting in the way. Um, but you know, if you're, you know, if you're careful, and actually, I found if you're quick, kind of drop it on there, and then. Uh, lift it straight up. No, see this didn't work. This one's a little harder. So anyway, with a little practice, I at least wouldn't have to go out and buy a... There, that one turned out nice, even though it was a second generation. Um, and then um, I did another one, couple of those. And here, I set that up all in one. And was able to do those. So, there you go. Just a little tip if you need a printing block or a stamping block. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.